It's like beef jerky. <laughs> it's like beef jerky, is it? Severed bone in, little dangly bit there, you know, all the good parts. Good morning, guys. We're back here at Whitehorse Airport. We're about to get a flight to Dawson City, which is a cool old gold rush town way up in the north of the Yukon. We're really excited to go there because we didn't get a chance to visit the last time we were in the Yukon. The flight is meant to be pretty interesting. We don't actually go through security and you're not given a seat. It's just like getting on a bus. You just wander on, you grab whatever seat you want. It's a small little propeller plane, I think. So we're really excited for that too and looks like we're about to get ready to board, so let's go. Right, so you know how we said the plane was about to board? That was like six hours ago. We're still at the airport, it's been delayed until 4.30, so we're gonna have about eight hours hanging out here at Whitehall. So airport's not too bad though, there's Wi-Fi and they gave us some food vouchers. Time to just chill out and catch up on work. I'd rather a safe plane than a bad plane. We'll get there eventually, and that tow cocktail's waiting for us at the other end. Alright, here we go. Time to get on the plane, finally make our way to Dawson City. Here we'll do. Please direct you to the emergency exit, which are identified by a new sign. Please take a moment to review the safety feature card located in the seat pocket in front of you. If you have any questions or concerns about this flight, is tiny. Little terminal, super cute. Thanks so much. One of the things to do in Dawson City is the sour toe cocktail. And that's the main ingredient, a human toe. All right, I guess we better go find that bar. I don't know, if it has a toenail that looks like that, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> you have to, it's the number one thing to do in Dawson City. I hope they cut the toenail off though. <laughs> Alright, we're here in the downtown hotel. I'm about to do the sour toe cocktail, which is a cocktail, a shot of whiskey with a human severed toe in it. It's a real toe, it's not fake, it's an old frostbitten toe. The trick is you gotta let the toe touch your lip. A little bit nervous, a little bit disgusting, but you can't come to the Yukon without doing it. Here we go. Oh, damn. It is a bit of an involved process. Like all good things, it's served on a silver platter. Log book, very important rules here. Oh, okay. I'm Johnny, uh, bar manager and sour toe captain here at the Sour Toe Saloon. Uh, serving up some sour toes tonight. Uh, I don't know how many I've served up personally, but should you follow through on this, you will be uh, member number 85,052. Very important rules, no chewing, no sucking, no biting, or putting the toe in your mouth. It is a real human toe, it is fragile. You need to treat it with respect. Be gentle, they're hard to come by. We're down to uh, one at the moment, so. Most important rule, very large fine should the toe be smaller, $2,500. And how many have you done? Too many. <laughs> oh, it's a pointer yeah. toe. We prefer thumb toes, they're nice, thick. They, they squeeze all yeah, uh, excess liquor, but this one's a bit longer, pointier. You can drink it fast. You can drink it fast. You can drink it slow. You can drink it slow. But your lips must touch. But your lips must touch. The gnarly toe. The gnarly toe. Here we go. Oh, right. Now, okay. shoot back that Yukon Jack. Touch your lips. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The toe is uh, pretty leathery and tasted like whiskey, but it's done now. I kissed the toe twice, I don't have to do that again. Now it's Alicia's turn. Alicia's still thinking about whether or not she wants to do the toe. I'm just having a wine. I'm enjoying my wine. But there's no toe in that wine. I don't want a hem and toe yet. Uh, All right, Alicia, you're up. Yes, I'm up. Do you want a toenail or severed Uh, What's best? You surprised me. Roll into the dice. 
<laughs> it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. It's like, it's like beef jerky. <laughs> like beef jerky, is it? Morning guys, we've recovered after the Sawato cocktail last night. It's a beautiful morning here in Dawson City. Minus 20, but the clouds are lifting and we're getting a view of the mountains that surround this place. We're going to go on a city tour with Jesse from Klondike Experience. Go check out this really cool old Gold Rush era city. Super cute, the houses here are really cool. I think you guys are going to like it. Here we have the downtown hotel, famous for the Sawato cocktail. One of the largest property owners here in Dawson City is actually Parks Canada and they've done everything they can to keep everything looking really old and authentic. Still have this Gold Rush era feeling about the place and they haven't allowed Walmart and Starbucks and any kind of other corporate enterprise to open up here. So it really is like stepping back in time when you show up here in town. You can see it's pretty quiet here in Dawson City in the winter. I'm just standing in the middle of a major intersection and there's not a lot going on. All the buildings here in Dawson City, you can see the one behind me, they're leaning because they're all built on permafrost. There's no foundations here because it's just too harsh in the winter. And you end up with these crazy, crazy angles on these buildings. everybody by surprise it happened oh, on the last no. on the last day of the arts festival and there was water all of these installations were underwater oh. like partly underwater and these cars got stuck yeah Jeez. yeah he's he's in the ice that guy oh. and uh, someone's already come out with a jackhammer <laughs> Come down to the restart line for the Yukon Quest here in Dawson City. We're about to watch one of the local guys, Brian, take off and continue the race. A whole bunch of people from town have come down to cheer him on. It's great to see this local camaraderie and everyone cheering on their hero. Now that Brian's off, it's time for everyone to go back to work and we're about to go jump on a flight back to Whitehorse, which means our Yukon adventure is almost over. Unfortunately that's it for our time here in the Yukon in winter. It was an amazing experience. We loved learning all about dog sledding, the Yukon Quest and of course drinking cocktails with human toes inside it. Definitely never done that before. If you're ever looking for a unique winter adventure destination, make sure you add the Yukon to your bucket list. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we bring out a new video every week. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next adventure.